Yo, it's your boy Young Moody, now check this shit out man, let me take you all the way back to 1982, where in the favelas of Rio, a potential star was born, and from his teenage years, Adriano Leite Ribeiro loved the beautiful game so much that, like many kids he grew up with, he would play barefooted on the fields. In 1999, when he was just 16, just before turning 17 years old, he signed with Flamingo and joined their academy. When he joined Flamingo in the beginning, he played as a left central defender, but as time passed on, the coach saw his real potential and his powerful left foot, and not long after they pushed him up forward in the pitch to play as a central striker. Now, the following year after consistently impressing in the academy, before turning 18, he made his debut for the senior side, and only 4 days later he scored his first goal for the first team. This led to some interest from some teams in Europe, and despite his signing a 2-year contract with Flamingo in June 2000, he secured a move to Inter Milan for the 2001 and 2002 season. Immediately thereafter, Adriano was loaned out to Fiorentina for the 2001-2002 season where he scored 6 goals in 15 appearances. This gained the interest of Parma, another Italian club who struck a deal with Inter which involved a co-ownership agreement and another Italian footballing legend Fabio Cannavaro moving from Parma to Inter Milan. In Parma is where Adriano went from being a boy to a man. He formed an impressive striking duo with Adrian Mutu scoring 22 goals in 36 appearances for Parma. He was extremely powerful and Zlatan described his shot with his left foot as being even better than his. He was a player who could take free kicks, dribble, provide assists, he was the full package all and the media was dubbing him as the next heir to the Far Ronaldo. In January 2004, Inter brought him back for 24 millions, where he scored 13 goals in 21 appearances. He helped Inter achieve Champions League qualification in Italy, they nicknamed him L'Imperatore, the Emperor. Adriano was on the rise, and in August of the same year, something remarkable would happen that would change his life upside down. In Lima on July 25, 2004, Adriano scored a dramatic stoppage time equalizer, after Brazil were trailing Argentina 2-1 in the Copa America final. The game went to extra time and then continued to the penalty shootouts. Adriano stepped up again and took the first penalty. Brazil ended up winning the Copa America final, and after the game there was only one man he wanted to pay tribute to. The title belongs to my father, Adriano said after the match. He's my great friend in life, my partner. Without him, I am nothing. Now, his father, Mr. Almir, had recently been suffering from ill health, and nine days after his son's moment of glory in Peru, he died of a heart attack, aged only 45. When this tragedy happened, Adriano was with Inter Milan in Italy. Javier Zanetti, Inter Milan teammate and club captain, recalls. He got a phone call from Brazil, and someone said on the phone, Adri, dad is dead. I saw him in his room, Zanetti continues. He threw the phone and started screaming. You couldn't imagine that kind of a scream. Since that day, Moratti, the Inter Milan chairman, and myself watched over him as if he was our little brother. He kept playing football, scoring goals, and pointing to the sky, dedicating them to his father. But after that phone call, nothing was the same. Ivan Cordoba, Inter Milan team, and spent one night with him and said, Adri, you're a mix of Ronaldo and Zlatan. Are you aware what you could achieve? You could become the best player ever. And Zanetti continues, our biggest regret is that we did not succeed of pulling him out of depression. That following season, Adriano was in peak form, scoring an impressive total of 42 goals in both domestic and international competitions and was nominated in the top 7 Ballon d'Or list. But that did not last, and it was the beginning of the end. Adriano got depressed and started clubbing and partying excessively to the point where he had alcohol dependency. Looking back now, Adriano says, At that time, I only felt happy when I drank. He then continued, I could only sleep if I drank. My inter coach, Roberto Mancini, and my teammates noticed that I was hangover when I arrived in training and I didn't like arriving too late, so I didn't sleep and went to training still drunk. I slept in the medical department and Inter had to tell journalists that I had muscular pain. At this time Adriano was partying, drinking, throwing rags and bands, and there was time he even spent 75 rags on his B-day parties. Sometimes the homie was renting a whole hotel and inviting 15 tarries to pop the punani. There were big hopes for Adriano in the World Cup 2006, but his performances were really overwhelming in a competition where he scored only 2 goals against Australia and Ghana. Against France, he barely touched the ball, and the quartet of Ronaldinho, Kaka, Far Ronaldo, and Adriano exited the World Cup in a disappointing fashion. Inter got fed up with Adriano eventually and released him from his contract in 2009, where he signed a one year contract for Brazilian club Flamengo, the club which he started his career. After gaining some form with Flamengo, not long after he signed again for Roma in order to revive his career, but one year later, in March 2011, Roma terminated his contract after seven months in the Italian capital. In March 2011, he signed for Corinthians but he was released again the following year because of his irregular appearances and lack of interest. Zlatan once said, and I quote, I played with great champions. I played with players that were already wow. I already played with players that I saw the real talent and became wow. But one I felt could do it even longer and didn't do it was Adriano when I was at Inter Milan. He could shoot from every angle. Nobody could tackle him. Nobody could take the ball from him. He was a pure animal. Adriano has now won 14 major honors, including the 2004 Copa America and four Serie A titles, 
He also finished in the top 7 of the Ballon d'Or list twice. But despite his natural talent, Adriano's consistency, character, fitness and work rate were brought into question after the death of his father. Moreover, his struggles with depression and alcoholism, combined with his hedonistic and turbulent lifestyle of the pitch, as well as his personal troubles, injury struggles and lack of discipline in training, contributed to his significant weight gain as his career progressed. After his dad died, his focus, his motivation and the love for the game faded away as he was only interested in piping bridges left and right. Adriano is also a record three-time winner of the Bidone d'Oro Award, a prize is given to the worst Serie A player during a particular season, which he won in 2006 and 2007 with Inter Milan and also again in 2010 with Roma. And since then he has been accused of drug trafficking and there were rumors he was supplying the commando of famous drug cartel with money in order to get protection in the favelas. These days Adriano looks happiest riding around on scooters with his friends and giving out free big marks to the poor local kids. He says he left behind all his possessions except his trophies, while he sold his 1.2 million mansion as well and he lives in a 10k month hotel while in a recent interview he said he parties only occasionally and is currently dating two Taris. Not bad for a former player who reportedly blew out all his fortune. Adriano is a player who never fulfilled his true potential but sometimes shits happen man. Shits happen outside football that can affect players for the worse or the good. In the case of Cristiano Ronaldo we saw the opposite effect as Ronaldo got more determined than ever to become the best ever to have ever done it after his dad passed away. But I'm not here to judge Adriano or anything like that because factors that happen just shows how sometimes football is just a game and not a matter of life and death. And after all footballers are humans with real feelings who get affected like all of us. The good news is Adriano is mentally in a better place now and that he's finally happy and out of depression. But what y'all think man, how far could Adriano have gone man? Let me know in the comment box, it's your boy Yamuli, like and subscribe, it's lit.